Is there any way I can help? Nope. I'm almost done. Okay, but after that, for it to grow, won't we need to water them or anything? Not these ones. The soil looks sufficiently flow-rich for their needs. After all, they were already thriving when we got here. Does that mean we'll have nothing left to do before we have some fat homemade fruits? You could always sing to them. It helps. For real? No scientific study has ever proven the contrary. So, maybe? Do you think they'll like some acrobats? It'll be your mission to find out. Like I told you, love can do miracles. That and cutting enhancing hormones. Now we just need to see if it works. Burble! Huh. <laughs> I knew she could never resist my cooking. All right, shall we go for a ride? Only if Burble agrees. I think that Burble will agree to anything if we save a plate for her. Thank you, Burble. To her. That's not Burble. Huh? How do you know? She looks nothing like her. Obviously, right now she's covered with rust. Even still, you can tell their faces look completely different. Huh. Don't you see? No. Wow. Great eye for detail. Some friend of the animals you are. Anyway, 
Whether or not that's purple, we can't leave her hanging like this. We agree. Hey, don't be scared. We just want to clean off this rust. Three, two, one. Go, go, go! On your mark. Go, go, go! Maybe we should be scared. All yours. Nice shot. Time to find some shelter. Bam! Keep them coming. Dodge this one. Nice shot. He's all yours. All yours. He's all yours. Woo! All yours. Perfect timing. He's all yours. He's ripe for the picking. Harvest time. You? Yep, saw that. Yes. See? That wasn't verbal. Uh, yeah, yeah. All right, lady. You can go now. Why is she staying here? Maybe she wants to take us for a ride. Like, that's her way of saying thank you. The jackpot. So, where are you taking us? Nowhere, it seems. Maybe she's waiting for our go. Or some kind of instructions? In that case... Into the unknown. Talk about the unknown. This is something else. Why do you think she brought us here? Maybe... Because she needs our help? But we just helped her out. There are times when you have more than one problem. Look at us. We need to fix the nest and the vid chat. Hmm. Anyway, now that we're here, should we take a look around? Yes, sir. It's like, squish, squish. I'm more like, splotch, splotch. What's that funny smell? I can't smell a thing. gonna break a limb doing this. And it will be worth it. Another bit of rust for your collect- All set. Now! Oh, did I miss? Don't think so. Ready when you are. All set. Are you okay? Are you all right? One left. You know what to do. Yep. Your turn. I got this. Well done. 
We make a good team. I would ever see one again. Why? Are they rare? More than rare. No one has ever been able to grow them in the apiary. I had a chance to study them once. Our lab almost went bankrupt trying to procure some. Huh. And what's so special about them? Everything. No one seems to understand how these plants work. They don't require nutrients, apparently nothing that allows for photosynthesis. Actually, to be exact, I shouldn't even be calling it a plant. So like what? Are they animals? Because I'm telling you right now that I don't eat animals. No, they're not animals. And who said anything about eating them anyway? I don't know. That being said, can you eat them? Somehow I don't believe that was a priority question for biologists. What? Biologists don't eat? <sighs> yes. You can eat it, but it's not very good. It's acrid. Oh, I guess I could have figured that out. On the other hand, it has outstanding medicinal qualities. We were able to observe some amphibians feeding on it in order to regrow their lost limbs. What? That is awesome. <laughs> I doubt it would work for us, but it probably wouldn't hurt us. Look, these 
to her step. It's gonna be all right. What about now? Can't you smell that? Uh, smells a bit swampy, I guess. Pretty normal. I'm not saying it's not normal. I'm just saying it stinks. Nest. Look at that. Beautiful nature at work. Even covered in rust, the mom is still keeping an eye on her little ones. I don't think that's the mom. I think our flying friend is the mom. Then, do you think that's the dad? That makes no sense. They look too different to be from the same species. Okay. Don't you see the empty shell? <gasps> he ate the baby. He ate our friend's baby. I've been trying to tell you. Oh, no, no, no. That's not gonna happen. Ha! Look who's acting shy when fighting someone their own size. I wouldn't call that acting shy. Cover me. <laughs> Target left. Shielding. Perfect. Watch it. Ooh. Dodge this one. Booyah! Works like a charm. Finally. Boom, baby! Oh, boot! I'm not really... You? Yep, saw that. Oh. Ugh. Great job. Eat it! All set? Now! You know what to do. I got this. You're safe. Nice. There you go. One to go. Booyah! Float! On your mark? Now! Does it hurt? Huh? Does it? Hey! You're starting to scare me. Aha! Shield up! Oh. Are you alright? I hope you weren't too attached to your teeth. Oh no. That's not gonna happen. Chew on this! Ready when you are. All set? Now that's how we treat baby eaters around here. Right for the picking. Harvest time. You? Yep. Saw that. Who's next? Yeah, that's it. Get out of here. Hope I don't see your face ever again. I'm surprised, Kay. I thought you would start lecturing about the different paths of survival. Chalk it up to the laws of nature. Each one has its place, yada, yada, yada. Yes, everyone has its place, except the baby eaters. Huh. Well, our friend looks great, huh? I'm sure that's the reason she brought us here. All right, then I guess she can bring us back now. Can't we stick around a bit longer? In these swamps? It's a nice change of pace. <sighs> okay, okay. Come on, lady. Time to bring us home. Now that's an extractor. Exanova settled all the way out here? They've traveled billions of lumsecs to come to source. They're not gonna back down because they saw a sticky swamp. Our 
are you sure this one is right? It passes. This is giving me a great recipe idea. No spoilers! nicer this way. Very good. Let's not judge based on appearances. Ooh, we were right. Now. Looks like the birds already had a crack at it. As long as they're leaving some for us.
smells pretty musty in here. We're probably the first people to enter this place in years. Do you think this was someone's house? Certainly looks like it. This was probably the bedroom. This was the kitchen. Except someone cleared it all out. Not all. Look! Okay, all of it except the teapot. They must have forgotten about that. Their loss, our win. What? Are you thinking about keeping it? Why not? It'll be more useful in the nest. What are you going to use it for? I was thinking... tea? <laughs> yeah. All right. What's that you're humming? It's the Hornet song. Ever heard of it? Mm, no. Huh. We used to sing it all the time at home. Hornet, Hornet, you're a gas. We'll rip off your wings and stick them up your... Pfft. Hornet, Hornet, you're a gas. Wow. Sounds like there were a bunch of would-be anarchists at the home. <laughs> yeah, at the time I thought I was referring to the bugs. Oh, an accidental bad boy. Too cute. Laugh all you want. I'm sure you were a big time rebel too. I really was. I had baby teeth when I ran away from home for the first time. Not that I went very far. I packed a bindle and tried to hitch a lift at the spaceport. Except it was our private spaceport, so my mothers weren't exactly worried about my next move. They were staring at me through the window, laughing. And then? Well, after a while, I guess I got bored and I came home, by myself, like a big girl. Thug life. <laughs> you know it. Let's just call it a dress rehearsal before the big debut. But this time, my chances of going back home are pretty slim. Even if you really, really, really get bored. I'm counting on you to entertain me. Ugh, we still don't know what was in the last cocoon that fell out of the sky. This is bothering you, isn't it? Uh, yes, 